Hello, my name is Serge Ramedy. I'm a French photographer living in Paris and I've been using Lightroom for many years now. As you know, Lightroom 4 just came out and it's an incredible, amazing piece of software. Today, in this quick start course, we are going to go through all the different modules of Lightroom and I'll show you about 80 to 90% of what I've been using for years and actually since shorter than that because there's a lot of new options in Lightroom 4. Uh, we're going to start by importing photos. Once we imported the photos into Lightroom, uh, we're going to retouch them. That's where we're going to spend most of the time because that's the hard core of Lightroom is the retouch module. For example, we're going to take this photo to go from this to this. We're going to take this small photo to go from this to this. Just using Lightroom, there is no Photoshop. Not so bad. Then we take this photo and we go to this. Then we take this photo and we go to this. Then we have this one to this one, not so bad. And then we're gonna take a series of interior photo of a saloon in Paris, retouch just one from this to this, and then we're gonna sync that retouch on two other photos. And that's one of the beauty of Lightroom. You retouch one photo and you sync. You're retouching on other photos which have a similar lighting. It works like a charm. Uh, for, and the last one we're going to retouch is this one where we're going to go from this to this. Once we've retouched all the photos, we are going to go into the map module, which is a complete new module in Lightroom 4. The module is basically Google Map where you can just drag and drop your photos to inform uh, your photos of the exact GPS coordinate of where you took the photos, which is helpful which is helpful because on some website they need the GPS coordinate of the photo. Once you have drag and drop them, your photos in the Google map, uh, then you can just, when you export them, the GPS coordinate will be embedded in your photos. And for example, that's very useful for Flickr or some other type of websites. So it could be useful for you. Next, we are going to do an 18 page book uh, out of all the photos we retouch and send it to the publishing service of Lightroom, which is Blurb, a, do a company doing incredible quality books. Next, we're going to do a full slideshow with music, background, a start page, an end page, and I'll show you how you can export this by video, how you can export a PDF version without music, obviously, of, uh, of your photos. Next, we're going to see, we're going to go into the print module, and I will show you how you can print from Lightroom and how you can do special sets of printing, for example, like this putting several different photos on one paper and printing everything with the best quality possible from Lightroom. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to tackle the web modules. I will show you uh, how you can do web galleries in just a few clicks. So you can just send the links to this web gallery to your friends and customers to show them the work you have done. And if you bought this application, you will not only get all the source files that I've been using so you can train with me on the exact same raw files, but you will also get three special web galleries totally for free, like this one or like this one, so that you can uh, send to uh, do some really nice web galleries and send, it, send them to your friends or colleagues. So that's included in the app that you will buy on the more info page, you will get a link which you can just type and you will be able, able to download the source file and this free web galleries. So we've got a lot to cover. I say, let's get started.